Welcome to AmeriCast! Yes! Uh, and uh, this is Rudy Giuliani, as always. And I have uh, uh, some news. Uh, and uh, frankly, we're not uh, getting too uh, uh, jiggy with it uh, this week. And, and, and the reason is because I've come under a bit of, um, well, legal scrutiny, I guess? <laughs> Am, am, am I characterizing that uh, uh, correctly, uh, 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 Trudy? Uh, uh, sweetheart, yes, thank you. Is his uh, sister Trudy uh, here? Uh, it, it is true, uh, Rudy. There's some 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 rather worrying uh, developments, and uh, for this week. You know, I'm going to be honest, in retrospect to recent events, uh, do you wish you'd actually gone and gotten a pardon from, uh, uh, wow. from, yeah, yeah, from, uh, uh, Mr. Trump while you had the chance, uh, what do you call him, one-term man, the, the one-termer, what do you call him behind his back, sweetie? No, no, I never use uh, those words. I, I, I still maintain a, a dramatic, almost all-consuming respect for, for Mr. Trump, who uh, I guess is a private citizen now, uh, no longer with pardon powers, and I have to uh, admit it makes him a little bit less appealing as a friend. But I, I never, I never abandon a friend, as everyone knows, besides Woody Allen, because I think it's most important to uh, uh, appreciate uh, the people, the people who were there for you uh, in a rainy day, okay? And I stand back, and, and I have a lot of humility, as you know. You don't have... Stop it, stop it. No, don't. It encourages them. You don't have humility, sweetheart. You, you, just, you just got to call with your pants down for a change. Oh, uh, and you know, uh, the one who had me with my pants down, the, the, the young lady in that Borat movie, uh, didn't actually uh, uh, get the Oscar, okay? So Rudy's still got some pull in this town. They do it in Hollywood, you moron. They don't do Hollywood Academy Awards in, in your supposed town where, where really your only support still comes from uh, Bernie Carrick, frankly. Now, now, Rudy, um, wow. yes, yes, we, we all, yes, it's, it's been an ongoing struggle trying to, to stay on your side, honey. Now, um, just to be sure, you didn't talk to Dershowitz about representing you, right, hon? Uh, let me interrupt for a moment. This is Tucker Carlson. Your brother has been unjustly accused, and we all know that. And the liberal press, they, they play games with this. These are all charges that they do daily, both within BLM and, and, and their various subsidiaries and, and cities, uh, elite cities across the United States. And they control everything, and I think you know that, Trudy. Oh, good. Here we go. Yeah, it's Bernie Sanders. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, uh, Tucker, so glad you could uh, provide this uh, balanced, nuanced view uh, once again. You're not going to silence me, Sanders. I'm not trying to silence you. Why would I want to silence you? You're amusing as hell. Would, would you two stop it? Now, there are so many things going on in the world, and this week, we're both going to check in on uh, the usual nonsense and uh, uh, whatever, the Israeli elections, and, and certainly the, the sadness around the world with all the COVID. But we're going to have plenty of time for MAGA World uh, Tucker, and we're also going to have uh, Buttigieg on and sing a couple of songs. Yeah, and perhaps if irony isn't completely dead, we could talk about the irony of your brother not liking police, overreach for him, and thinking BLM doesn't exist. All right, do we have some, uh, just a little bit of ironic or, or perhaps hypocrisy in the mix if such a thing exists? Uh, thanks for, for all of your, your sort of uh, pushing the envelope on my brother here. Now, now, we're going to go ahead and check it on Trudy's Red Table Talk. Uh, Bernie, before you go there again, I want to talk about the tyranny of the BLM movement. <laughs> tyranny? Uh, you're suffering from the tyranny of low expectations. That's what your program's about. Now, if we can get down to business. Now, 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 back to me. Now, this week on uh, Red Table Talk, I thought we'd do something a little bit uh, more unique. Uh, so the first thing is uh, we're going to be talking to a lot of the people that uh, Rudy is planning to uh, implicate in, in his uh, recent arrest. So, so first up, I'm going to have uh, John Bolton, everyone. John Bolton, everybody. Uh, thanks, Trudy. Thanks for uh, having me back. Uh... I see you're still wearing the, uh, would you, would you keep it down, please? I see you're still wearing, stop it! 
I see you still wearing sort of the, the vanilla. God, they love it. The, the vanilla suit with the pink shirt and the bow tie. It's a, it's a, it's a hell of a look. How, how do you keep that up? Uh, well, well, I, I, I obviously, there's, there's fashion consultants that I keep on my staff, and I... The problem with your brother's arrest. Now, I wrote a, a book that, that detailed this extensively. The idea that we could exist in, in parts of the world where we have international interests and and somehow do um, influence operations. I, 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 I think you, you're using some very big words here. Now, now, tell me exactly what happened. So so it was an ambassador named Maria Yovanovitch. She wanted to pursue certain... Oh, excuse me, excuse me. I, I think you're misrepresenting. It's me, Rudy, again. Now, Yovanovitch, there was a lot of problems with this woman. You see, she was out for my colleague, Lukashenko, who is running maybe a little bit of a corrupt operation there. But you see, Yovanovitch tried to get in the middle of everything. So let me tell the whole story about this garbage she was trying to stir up. Don't tell the director, I said so. But are you safe, Lukashenko? I remember, uh, we were at a policy meeting. They were finding new ways of cheating. I don't want to rock your boat. But uh, Yovanovitch sent this dangerous note. I, I, and I had to warn you, uh, you've been letting your feelings show. But are you safe, Lukashenko? Lukashenko, are you safe? Are you safe, Lukashenko? Lukashenko, are you safe? Is anybody alive in here? Is anybody alive in here? Is anybody at all in here? Nobody but us. Oh, nobody but us. Oh, is anybody alive in here? Nobody but us. Good Buttigieg. Uh, your uniform nah, don't seem to fit. Uh, you're much too alive in it. Honestly, uh, you've been letting your feelings show. Are uh, you safe, Lukashenko? Lukashenko, are you safe? It was it was chilling, honestly. You see, because my boys were following all of them around, and and I don't want to mention Stone, but but D don't mention me, Rudy. I wasn't even in Ukraine at the time. Uh, I guess we hooked up a couple times on Signal. Enough, Roger. Listen, anybody alive in here? Is anybody alive in here? Anybody at all in here? Nobody but us. Ooh, nobody but us. Is anybody alive in here? Nobody alive in here. Anybody alive in here? Nobody but us. Nobody but us. Ow! Let's go, Roger! Yeah, good job there. Nice, Buttigieg. All right, very good, Bolton. Now I got a lot of guests. Get off the show. Now, as far as international affairs, there's been a lot of activity on the front of the Biden administration. Uh, tell me about it, Bernie. Uh, they finally recognized the uh, Armenian genocide. Is that right? Uh, uh, yeah, let's, let's go uh, listen in. I understand over at uh, the White House there was some discussion. All right. What's that? It's Armenian Holocaust Remembrance Day? Yeah, of course we recognize it was a genocide. It was a genocide, yes. All right, yeah, call uh, Erdogan. Give him a heads up. Uh, uh, wait, 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 what you mean, give heads up? What you mean? Statement. Never statement vetted. What about vetting of statement? Vet. Vet with me, maybe. Uh, no, 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 we're not... No, not a vetting thing. Uh, listen, uh, listen, you, you have your country. We know genocide Native American. Yeah, we know. We admitted it seven years ago. Catch up. All right, come on. Okay, it's me, Tucker Carlson, again. I want to get back to the issue of all the cucks you're having on the show right now. I mean, with Sanders and the elites and, and everyone else. Uh, if you don't mind, Carlson, I heard you went to a rather elite school yourself. And, and, and uh, yeah, thanks, everyone. And why don't we get uh, our other friend Josh Hawley out here? No, no, no. Listen, you two. Yeah, hit it, Buttigieg. Uh, 
I remember the 35 sweet goodbyes When you put me on the Wolverine up to Annandale Ah, you know about it, I was still September When your daddy was quite surprised, Tucker Ah, to find you out with the working girls in the county jail Man, oh, cause I was uh, smoking with the boys upstairs when I uh, heard about the whole affair. I said, Ah, oh, no, uh, William and Mary won't do now. Nah, you were at Dartmouth. I did not think your girl could be so cruel. Oh, man, cause you're never going back to your old. Oh, oh, yeah! You know, uh, you tell me about your experience at uh, Harvard next, Holly, if you don't mind. Now, you're not gonna paint me with that brush there, Sanders. Well, they're oleanders. Oh, they're growing outside my door. I didn't use them now. Uh, soon they're gonna be in bloom up in Annandale. <laughs> you see, and I was earning money otherwise. I can't stand her now, her doing what she did before. <laughs> While she was off living like a gypsy queen in a fairy tale. <laughs> but I stood by, I, uh, I hear the whistle, but uh, I can't go. I'm gonna. Take it down to Mexico She said, oh no Guadalajara won't do now That's what we say in my part of the country well, I did not think the girl Could be so cruel No, Sanders I'm never going back To my old school Don't you know it? Yeah, of course I know it your reputation is garbage, frankly. Uh, there was a whole collection of your former classmates signed a gigantic uh, document. They said, uh, Holly's nuts! Those were not just any average classmates. They were probably a bunch of liberal progressive Democrats. Now, you can't rule the whole world just because you're in charge of the Harvard faculty lounges now. I've never been in a faculty lounge myself. Then why do you dress like that? Because I'm from Burlington, Vermont, you idiot. A sweater vest is, is very comfortable, you know. All right, I, I... You know, the two of us, Sanders, we ain't been out for a coffee ever. I can imagine very few things that are going to be more never than that. What do you say, Tucker? I'm bored by this whole thing. California. Oh, it tumbles into the sea. That's what I'm waiting for. Well, that'll be the day I go back to Annandale. I made the decision, Sanders. Well, I tried to warn ya about China and Daddy G. The whole world is on alert. I can't seem to get to you through the U.S. mail. Listen, Bernie, because I, I hear the whistle, but I can't go. I'm gonna take it down to Mexico. You know, I said Guadalajara won't do now. Because I just could not even think the girl would be so cruel. They tried to sue me, Sanders, and I'm never going back to my old school. Now... All right, you're breaking my heart, Carlson. All right, all right. So, who else we got lined up here, Trudy? Now, if I can get a moment for some seriousness again. So, the, um... The COVID crisis around the world, particularly South America, 
the the various issues, you know, many of them political, many of them distribution things, and and the misinformation that I complain about all the time uh, with that beautiful song of yours uh, last week, Bernie, the Liberty thing. No, no, listen, listen. And in India, and uh, I understand uh, uh, Modi uh, may even be a, a moron of the level of our own uh, uh, American president uh, at that time. Uh, uh, but, but, uh, great at sock, I understand. And uh, you know what bothers me, Bernie, is a lot of it comes down to these uh, uh, sectarial uh, uh, differences. You know, I don't think you're using that term correctly, but uh, you read my mind there. Now, uh, so, the uh, COVID as it uh, uh, goes uh, on and on, and the misinformation, and uh, I want to get Fauci and Rogan to straighten out a couple things for me first. All right! Yeah, hi, hi, hi. It's me, uh, Joe Rogan. Uh, I don't mean to talk about this like I'm an expert, but I don't think people, if you're if you shaped like me, you, why would you need to get the vaccine? I don't know. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, it's me, Dr. Fauci. Uh, there are a lot of reasons why. Uh, and you're right, you're not an expert. But but I'm asking the question because, and by the way, I got a son-in-law and he's a lot more jacked than you are. I, I don't know who that is. But uh, I, I'd listen to a woman's voice. Uh, like Dr. Burks is is Dr. Burks. Uh, she's a gorgeous woman. Yes, uh, uh, she says so too, Joe. So tell your listeners. Uh, thanks for that uh, little interlude there, uh, Shruti. Uh, now, uh, I also understand Fauci, unfortunately, was uh, there at Congress in front of all of us and had to listen to Rand Paul for a long time. Well, 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 we're here to talk about the uh, hearings in Congress. Uh, Dr. Fauci and Senator Paul, a lot of fireworks. <laughs> I'm a doctor. I don't think you are. Now, I've tried to explain this from the molecular level all the way up. What? This is a molecule. There are no nanobots. You know that, of course. But why am I wearing a mask? Can't you tell me why I should be wearing a mask? It's particulate transfer. Uh, I could show you a chart. Let me, let me dig around here. You see, this is something you should have seen back in med school, but... Uh, well, I had a tutor. Uh, they they were not so... Well, I, I, I've got office hours a little later. Come on, buddy. Boy, very generous, uh, offering some office hours to uh, Senator Paul. Uh, maybe you can help him a little with legislation as well. All right, before we can move on to some more substantial matters, I guess Tucker and his uh, friend Holly here want to... Uh, uh, chime in here with another number. Yes, thank you, Bernie. Good. Now, I'm feeling it. And I'm angry. That's a very good saxophone. You know, Sanders, there have been old rock songs rejiggered for liberal, but let's talk about conservative. Bowie's long dead. He has nothing to say about this. Now, they pulled in just behind the bridge. He lays her down. He frowns. Gee, my life's a funny thing. Am I still too young? Teddy Kennedy. He kissed her then and there. She took his ring, took his babies. It took a minute, took her nowhere. Heaven knows she'd have taken anything but. Oh, all right. He was a Teddy Kennedy. Yeah, it happened in Chappaquiddick, and I'm just trying to refresh people's memories because it seems the liberal press has a very short memory. What do you think, Holly? Uh, that was sudden. Uh, the picture window, she finds the slinky vagabond. Now, he coughs as he, uh, raises a four Mustang, but heaven forbid, she'll take anything now. Well, but they freaky at his type all oh, for nothing. He misses a step and cuts his hand, but showing nothing. He swoops like a song now. She cries where have all the papas here is gone. Oh, all right now. Well, I was a young American. Well, I'm the new thing, Tucker. I was a young American, and I'm in much better shape than you. Sorry about that now. Well, I was a young American. 
Now, I was a breadwinner, obviously, but now I would live for just these 20 years. And you have to die for them 50 more. Now, I take that a little personally. I'm 54. Up there, you don't look like that now. Young Americans. No, 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 no. We got Gavin McInnes coming on now next. Oh, shake your hip there, boy. Ooh. You were quite inspiring to me back in the day. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got a few years on you, some mileage, my friend. And do you remember? Now, uh, President Nixon. Ooh, do you remember? Oh, the bills you had to pay for even yesterday. Oh, no. What do you think, Tucker? I think a lot of things. You know, this is my jam, Fran. I'm the OG. Can I please? Have you been the un-American? Just you and your idol sing falsetto about leather, leather everywhere and not a myth. Oh, let from the ghetto. Now, well, 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 would you carry a razor? In case, just in case of depression, sit on your hands on a bus of survivors, blushing at all the Afro sheeners. Ain't that close to love? Oh, and ain't that poster love? Well, it ain't that Barbie doll. Her hearts have been broken just like you and all night. Ha <laughs> ha! That's right. You know, sometimes you don't sound like you mean any of it. Oh, young Americans! Ooh! Oh, no, no, no! No, no! Like I said, the OG. Yeah. Uh, the ain't the OG Don thing now. All right, all right. Trudy, why don't you take this one back? Yeah, yeah! Oh, boy! All right, all right! Yeah! Oh, you, you, yeah, yeah, nice, nice! All right, I'm into it! Young Americans oh, ho, 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 ho. Young Americans Oh, they're so Oh, they're the newest thing Oh, ho, ho, ho. Tucker You know, McGinnis, he, he's, a, he's a cute kid, frankly oh, oh, oh. This is my song, Young Americans, oh, all right. Young Americans, Young Americans, oh, all right. Oh, yeah, 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 wonderful, you're young, all right. Oh, beating a dead horse, yeah. All right, it's Bernie again. So a couple things going on in Congress. So we're doing the debates about health care reform, and they don't seem to be interested in expanding Obamacare. Uh, what the hell? We'll just go ahead and add a public option, and then if they don't love that so much, we'll just give Medicare to everybody. I don't understand the whole negotiation process they think they got a, a handle on here. Now stop that, Sanders. It's me, Joe Manchin. We're part of a working group. That's more of a come-together strategy. Uh, beautiful. Uh, Shruti, what do we got on the uh, infrastructure debate over there on the floor of the Senate? All right. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. All right. Order, order. Now, infrastructure is not broadband. And the other problems are falling very soon. Let's just keep them out. Let's just wait for them. It's not broadband at all. Not. And now, now, Senator, Senator McConnell, Senator McConnell, you're making a choice, and you're making a point, and I agree with the point. Infrastructure ain't just anything Democrats say it is, and it certainly ain't the thing Democrats are talking about now. It ain't that thing at all. <laughs> Listen here, it's me, Josh Howley. Now, broadband makes a difference for a lot of rural. Let me have the camera here now. A lot of rural America, which are my constituents. So it's a common people who are like you and me, frankly. 
You're grandstanding. No, I know he's just running for president 24 hours a day. I'm going to get down to the border because infrastructure is stuff you can drive a truck on and that you can build on. And I understand that uh, it's, uh, it ain't grandstanding there. Senator Cruz, uh, you can maybe not... He not... has a point. And the point is... A cell tower is a part of infrastructure. Perhaps you could drive a truck onto it if you want, Ted Cruz. We're trying uh, to get broadband uh, into I, I, I don't want to toot my own horn. I'm Alan Dershowitz, of course, the Harvard lawyer, emeritus uh, professor. I can define infrastructure. No, we'd prefer you not do that, Dershowitz. Uh, we're doing fine without your definitions. Uh, Last time you were up here with your definitions of uh, impeachable conduct. Oh, come on, it's me, Mitt Romney. And I've always got a compromise. I'm going to put all of us together, each of us together, in a room. And we're going to work something out, as I've always been able to do. Yes, 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 yes. Everyone? Anyone? Come on, follow me. Come on, let's go. Next room. Someone? I gotta say, it's a lot of an improvement. A lot of an improvement, Mitt Romney. I thought Rand Paul was gonna show up and say no infrastructure for Antifa or BLM. Good night, Sarah. Right. Good night. Y'all smart. Oh, all right. You know what that uh, music means? I guess we're at the end of the show. Um, but it's been special. Now, uh, I uh, just just to, just to close out, Bernie. Uh, you went over. The stuff you did with the Senate. Now, 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 in a nutshell. Yeah, thanks, Trudy. Uh, listen here, McConnell. All right, listen, we're sketching out a healthcare vision. Uh, it's not so hard. It's not like it's nuclear fission. Now, Bernie, let's just work together like birds of a feather on a tree. Because uh, there's only some things acceptable to my people back in Kentucky. Uh, ha hang on now. Uh, hold on, it's me, Joe Rogan. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, thanks for having me on. And, and in some ways, I see it as the ultimate measure. That's me, Fauci. Listen, you, you fill up a sweatshirt, but leave it to the experts on the vaccines. Uh, I could go over and over again, but I, I think you know what I mean. Yeah, thanks, Fauci. Uh, no, no, it's a serious uh, topic. Uh, uh, the, the, the fact is, uh, uh, you know, around the world, it, it is scary and... Uh, the idea of a vaccine for people unfamiliar, you know, have some uh, sympathy there, Fauci. Uh, you know, and, and let me turn it back to you, my brother. Um, oh, Rudy, uh, now it looks like you're not so trusted. Um, your luck's run out, and now it looks like you're busted. Now, uh, go out and get a shampoo. Leave out the land, look nice. You're not half your bottom. You should have got a pardon. Ah, uh, now you're on ice, sorry. Okay, now anyway, uh, I did enjoy the show, but next week what I'm hoping is uh, we get on uh, Mitt Romney again. Uh, and if that doesn't happen, still on AmeriCast next week. Get on a couple of my uh, other favorite guests. It's, it, we're going to have a special one. Oh, uh, thanks, uh, Trudy, for, for leading us out there. Uh, Rudy, you got anything to add? Uh, he's hiding. That's all right, Bernie's tired. You know, he's getting on in years. You're not so young yourself. Uh, th thanks uh, for the positive note on, uh, on our exit today. Oh, that's all right. Good